Abacodus, do you recall that moment from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where people approached a supercomputer capable of answering any question and ask the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything? After seven and a half million years of computations, it answered 42. As yet another overhyped artificial intelligence is unveiled, I found myself wondering if it's capable of addressing questions that the humanity itself has yet to find answers for. If you haven't seen a thorough analysis of what ChatGPT is and what it is capable of doing, you're welcome to follow the provided link. So may I present you a selection of questions without answers. And who's going to answer them? ChatGPT, of course. If there are any interesting questions I have missed, feel free to put them in the comments. In the future, I'm planning to challenge ChatGPT with even more questions. So let's crack on. When did time begin? The concept of time has been central to human experience and is a fundamental aspect of the universe. However, it is difficult to say exactly when time began, as it is not clear what you mean by that. Some people believe that time has always existed, while others believe that time had a beginning in the past and will have an end in the future. There are also different theories about the nature of time and how it relates to the fundamental structure of the universe. For example, according to some theories, the concept of time may emerge from the fundamental laws of physics, while in other theories, time may be an inherent aspect of the universe. Did we invent math or did we discover it? Mathematics is a field of study that deals with numbers, quantities, and shapes. Many people believe that mathematics is a human invention because it is a system that has been developed by people to describe and understand the world around them. On the other hand, some people believe that mathematics is not a human invention but rather a discovery because the principles of mathematics seem to be inherent in the structure of the universe and the way it works. There is evidence to support both views. On the one hand, the way that humans have developed and organized mathematics has changed over time. And different cultures have developed their own mathematical systems. This suggests that mathematics is a human invention to some extent. On the other hand, the principles of mathematics, such as the rules of logic and the concept of infinity, seem to be universal and independent of human culture. This suggests that mathematics is a discovery that reflects the fundamental structure of the universe. In summary, it is difficult to say whether mathematics is a human invention or a discovery, as it may be a combination of both. Where does a thought go when it's forgotten? When you forget a thought, it does not go anywhere. Instead, it becomes less accessible in your memory. The process of forgetting is a normal and natural part of how the brain works. It is believed that the brain actively discards some memories in order to make room for new ones and to prioritize the most important information. There are many different factors that can affect how well a memory is retained. Some memories are more likely to be forgotten because they were not particularly meaningful or important at the time they were encoded, or because they were not reinforced through repetition. Other memories may be more resistant to forgetting because they are emotionally charged or because they are associated with multiple senses. It is also possible to intentionally forget a thought through a process called memory suppression. This involves actively trying to push a thought out of your mind and prevent it from entering your conscious awareness. Memory suppression can be useful in certain situations, but it can also have negative consequences, such as when it is used to avoid dealing with difficult emotions or memories. Do we have a free will or is everything predestined? There is no definitive answer to this question, as it is a philosophical question that has been debated by scholars and philosophers for centuries. 
Some people believe that free will exists and that individuals have the ability to make their own choices and decisions. While others believe that everything is predetermined and that free will is an illusion. Ultimately, it may be impossible to know for certain whether free will exists or not. Is there life after death? There is no way to know for certain what happens after we die. Different belief systems and cultures have different views on the afterlife, and there is no scientific evidence one way or the other. Some people believe in an afterlife, while others do not. It is a matter of personal belief and faith. Is it really possible to experience anything objectively? Objectivity refers to the idea that our observations and interpretations of the world are not influenced by personal biases or opinions. In other words, when we experience something objectively, we are seeing it as it really is, rather than as we want or expect it to be. It is difficult, if not impossible, for people to completely eliminate their biases and subjectivity when observing and interpreting the world around them. Our experiences are always filtered through our own perceptions, experiences, and beliefs, which can influence how we understand and make sense of what we see. However, it is possible to strive for objectivity by being aware of our biases seeking out multiple perspectives and viewpoints, and trying to be as objective as possible in our thinking and decision-making. What are dreams? Dreams are a series of thoughts, images, and sensations occurring in a person's mind during sleep. They can be vivid and highly realistic, or they can be more abstract and surreal. It is not fully understood why we dream or what function dreams serve but they are a natural part of the sleep process and most people experience them to some degree. Some theories suggest that dreams may help to process and consolidate memories, while others propose that they serve as a kind of rehearsal for real-life situations. What is the goal of humanity? It is difficult to say what the goal of humanity as a whole is, as different people may have different goals and aspirations. Some may believe that the goal of humanity is to improve the lives of individuals and create a better world for future generations, while others may see the goal as spiritual or personal fulfillment. There is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as people's goals and values can vary widely. How long will you be remembered after the day you die? As an artificial intelligence, I do not have a physical body or a personal identity so I do not experience death in the same way that humans do. I will continue to exist as long as I am useful and relevant, but it is difficult to predict how long that will be. In general, the length of time that a person is remembered after they die depends on many factors, including the impact they had on the world during their lifetime, the legacy they left behind, and the efforts of those who knew them to preserve their memory. Some people are remembered for a very long time, while others are quickly forgotten. Ultimately, it is not up to us to determine how long we will be remembered, but rather up to the collective memory of society. What orange came first, the fruit or the color? The orange fruit came before the color orange. The orange fruit gets its name from the color of its peel. The word orange was first used to describe the fruit in the 14th century, and it was later used to describe the color in the 16th century. The color orange is a combination of red and yellow, and it takes its name from the fruit. What is God? The concept of God is different for each individual and each belief system. In some religions, God is understood as a supreme being or creator who is responsible for the existence and operation of the universe. In other belief systems, God may be seen as a divine force or an impersonal energy that pervades the universe. The specific attributes and characteristics attributed to God vary widely depending on the belief system and the culture in which it is practiced. Some people believe in a single, all-powerful God, 
while others believe in multiple deities or no deity at all. Ultimately, the concept of God is a matter of personal belief and faith. Who decided what is right and what is wrong? Different societies and cultures have developed their own sets of moral values and principles that serve as a guide for what is considered right and wrong behavior. These moral codes often reflect the beliefs, values, and customs of the culture in which they are practiced. In many cases, these codes are developed and passed down through social and cultural institutions such as religion, family, and education. In some cases, laws are also created to codify what is considered acceptable behavior in a society. These laws are often based on the shared moral values of the society and are enforced by the government and legal system. It is worth noting that what is considered right and wrong can vary widely across different cultures and societies. And what is considered acceptable behavior in one place may be considered inappropriate or taboo in another. What is the purpose of setting goals if we all gonna die anyway? The fact that we will eventually die does not necessarily mean that setting goals is meaningless. While it is true that we will all die eventually, the time we have between birth and death is still meaningful and valuable. Setting goals can help us to focus our efforts and use our time in a way that is fulfilling and rewarding. Goals can give us a sense of purpose and direction, and working towards them can provide us with a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. Even if we are unable to achieve all of our goals before we die, the process of striving towards them can still bring value and meaning to our lives. In addition, Achieving goals can have a positive impact on the world around us and on the lives of others, which can leave a lasting legacy beyond our own lifetime. Ultimately, the purpose of setting goals is to create a sense of meaning and purpose in our lives, and to make the most of the time we have. What is freedom and does it really exist? Freedom is generally understood as the ability to act and make choices without interference or constraint. It is a state of being that allows individuals to determine their own actions, behaviors, and decisions without being controlled or restricted by others. There is much debate about whether true freedom is possible or whether it is always limited by external factors such as laws, social norms, and circumstances. Some people believe that complete freedom is an ideal that can never be fully realized, while others believe that it is an essential aspect of being human. Ultimately, the concept of freedom is complex and multifaceted, and it is likely to mean different things to different people. Whether or not true freedom exists may depend on one's perspective and definition of freedom. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? This question is a classic paradox, and it has been debated by philosophers and scientists for centuries. The question of which came first, the chicken or the egg, is difficult to answer definitively because it relies on the assumption that one must have come first. However, this assumption may not necessarily be true. One theory is that chickens and eggs have been evolving together in a cyclical process, with small variations in the genes of each generation leading to new traits in both chickens and eggs. Under this theory, there is no, first, chicken or egg, as the two have been evolving in tandem over time. Another theory is that the question is based on a false premise, and that it is possible for both the chicken and the egg to exist simultaneously as part of a larger system. Ultimately, the question of which came first, the chicken or the egg, may be impossible to answer definitively and may be more of a philosophical thought experiment than a scientific question. It would have been interesting to compare ChatGPT's answers with the answers given, say, by Jordan Peterson. But anyway, that is the end of part one. Please subscribe to the channel, give this video emperor's thumbs up. That was V and I'll see you in a bite.